Hello and welcome to the In Wills Interval, a monthly podcast that focuses on strategies and survival tactics for fellow small streamers. In this month's episode, I want to talk about attracting viewers to your channel. Hello and welcome back everyone. Thank you once again for listening in. The first episode of this podcast recently reached 10 downloads. Absolutely fantastic news. I'm into double figures. Maybe I need to start another series called Surviving as a Small Podcaster. First up, I just want to ensure that you are not confused by the title of this podcast. This podcast is looking about attracting viewers to your channel, but I'm talking about this in the sense of developing your community rather than increasing viewers so you can reach Twitch partnership. So essentially, this is not necessarily about growth, but about development and attracting viewers to your channel that will help you as a small streamer to develop and propagate a really interactive and supportive um, community. So to start off with, I'm not going to go over the be yourself element of your stream. I covered that in chapter one of this, or episode one, sorry, of this podcast. But I do want to give you some things to think about so you can have a go at implementing these to your streams to see how well they work for you. As you work out the answers to these questions or complete these tasks, you will start to create your persona for streaming as well as the sort of people you are trying to attract to your streams to enjoy what you are doing and build your community. Now, before I give you these tasks, I want to say that you don't need to decide on all the questions I'm going to pose you before you start to stream. Sometimes it's actually beneficial to co-create these with your viewers as your community grows. So feel free to change things and have a go and see what else works. I don't think you can ever stream perfectly from day one or from any time within your streaming career. Okay, enough chatter. Let me share with you three ideas and or activities that can be used to attract more viewers to your community. So the first thing I would like you to think about or the task to complete is to think about what games or types of games you will be playing. This is definitely going to be something that changes the more you stream. Deciding which sort of games you are going to stream will really influence the type of viewers you are attracting. Every game has its own type of community. None or are better or worse than another. They are just different. I like to stream relaxed and chilled games that I will be playing for a long period of time. For example, MMOs like Elder Scrolls Online or simulations like Minecraft and V Rising or Stardew Valley. I like to show the progression and take the viewers on a journey with me. This can inspire them or even encourage them to stream or play the games as well. If I am playing games like Overwatch, yes, I do stream that occasionally, but only as support, then the viewers are more likely to watch me see how badly I play or how good I am. And these streams of Overwatch tend to be one-off and do not really sort of like contribute to the overall development and the feel of my community. Always decide the types of games you want to play and don't go with the high viewer games or most popular unless those are the games that you want to play. If you don't enjoy playing the game 
then that will come across in your streams. And believe me, I've been there. No one wants to watch someone who is complaining all the time. Okay, so the next thing I want you to think about is how will you engage with your viewers? In episode four of this podcast, the next one from this one, I'm going to be talking about how to promote interactions with your viewers. But here I want to talk about engaging with them. One of the advantages of being a small streamer is that we can build successful relationships with our viewers. In order to feel that the viewers are welcome, consider how you will actually welcome them to your stream. When somebody says hi or poses a question or says something in your stream, how will you respond to that? I use the infamous phrase of looking good and feeling fine. Hi, so-and-so, welcome to the stream. I hope you're looking good and feeling fine today. What will you say to them when they engage in the, the chat? Are you going to encourage them to ask questions? I.e., hi there, is that, do you have any questions? Are you going to have the beginner players welcome tag on for your stream? And don't forget, as well as engaging with our viewers or our communities while we're streaming, we should also be engaging with them before or and after our streams. So what will you post on social media? What updates are you going to provide in between your streams? This is also a positive strategy to encourage them to follow your social media accounts because what you can do is talk about things that you have posted there. You may say thank you to people who liked your posts, or you might just give a recount of what happened. Oh, thank you so much for all your wonderful comments that I for that caption picture that I put on Twitter. It really made me laugh. These are all ways that you can promote that feeling of community around your streaming. The third and final thing that I would like to talk to is something that I struggle with personally all the time. And it's this idea of what you will be doing that provides value to people. Another way of watching and um, talking about it or saying it is why should people watch you streaming? Value is talked about a lot on social media platforms and it relates very well to streaming. What value are you providing to your com um, community? Because if it's nothing, then why should they actually watch you? Why should they turn up again and again to be part of your community? And this is something that is really uh, important to have a think about. A starting point for me is always the element of entertainment. I think as streamers, we have to entertain. And although you might be playing games as well, we need to be fantastic entertainers. We need to communicate how we're feeling, our emotions. We need to react. We need to share our own personality. So the value that you're actually providing entertainment is a really good starting point. Also try and refer to future or past streams so that your viewers know that what they're seeing is not a one-off and you know this is how you are a lot or all of the times. Before we leave this point I just want to reassure you that you don't need to be a be great at the games you stream. I consider myself a successful small streamer and believe me I am not good at any of the games I play. I am developing my knowledge and the more knowledge I gain or the more understanding of the game I have then that I share to new people in the streams that are coming along or with my community and in fact um, you know 
a lot of my community have contributed to the sort of streamer I am today. So don't feel it has to be good gameplay for you to provide value. It might be advice, it might be um, considering questions and answering questions, it might be supreme and superior gameplay, or it might be like me, really bad gameplay. But ensure that you're, you're entertaining because I think that is the first glimpse that a viewer has of you is that entertainment value that you might make them laugh, you might say things are interesting, it attracts them to come along and participate as part of the community that you are creating around your stream. I hope that's given you some ideas to think about and some strategies to have a go at implementing. Do have a go and let me know how well it goes for you. And remember that if you have any questions, then please do either email them to me or send them on any of the social media platforms I frequent. Or if you're super brave, use the recording option in the show notes. Okay, until next time, stay positive and productive and enjoy your streaming. See ya. Bye.